Hello and welcome to Just Do It, a Doobie Brothers podcast. I'm Alex. I'm Eric. How are you doing, Eric? Well, uh, I, I think I've come down with a case of the uh, little kiditis, where uh, my nose is all jammed up with goobs, and, you know, I'm pretty sure I got it from little kids. Mmm, your sinuses are all clouded with the Jimmy Jams, too? Oh, you can say Jimmy Jam to the Jam Jim Jibble, baby. Wow, this is what it must be like to be a elementary school teacher, and I can't imagine how difficult that is. Well, the problem is, we're coming off of a uh, extreme long, like, no germ time, you know? I'm hanging out with me, myself, and uh, always wearing a mask, because I, I don't know where myself has been. That guy's pretty scary. But, uh, yeah, so then you take the mask off, and boom, you're exposed to millions of little... Uh, just walking venereal uh, petri dishes. Oh yeah, I take my cues from Lonely Island. You ought to look out. That's what YOLO stands for, which is why I wear my mask everywhere, including the shower. You can never be too careful. But with these mask restrictions lifted, Alex, you say that. I know someone that did shower with a mask <laughs> on, and they said it was terrible. Um, I don't know, maybe because they were waterboarding themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, kids. Uh, or do, if you want to see what it's like. Yeah, it's called the Gitmo Exchange Program. Um, yeah. All you have to do, is, it's totally tubular. It's called waterboarding at Gitmo. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into our main topic, Eric. I, I want to get this, uh, I want to learn something there. Okay, well, you know what today is a great day for, Alex? What's today a great day for? I think we have to talk about the 2014 International Durigan Fundahart de Fraun, which is, uh, of course, the 27th edition of the Thuringen Rundahart de Fraun, a uh, women's cycling stage race in Germany. Oh, uh, can you pronounce that one more time for me? Because I love women's stage races. Uh, it's the... Thuringen Rundefart de Fraun. So it actually took place from the 14th of July. Very fitting for our podcast because represent Bastille Day uh, to oh, yeah. the 20th of. But we don't, we're only talking about July of 2014. Like that. That's all that I could find. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. They lost the history. I don't know why. So my favorite part of the big D or the Dungringam, as they call it, is that it yeah, symbolically, sure, it. <laughs> sure, symbolically <laughs> recreates the Prussian Wars in which you ride from Germany into France on Bastille Day, which is what Bastille Day commemorates. The successful ah. re repeal of the Prussians. I, I would believe that because... Uh... There, there are no architectural monuments called the Bastille or anything uh, that were stormed. In fact, it that's actually Prussians, what. It was by Prussians, actually. It's also the final, uh, the final climb is called the Bastille because it's so looming, named after the great Bastille uh, fortress. So that's what, that's why it's on Bastille Day. It starts. You, you, no, no, that's it. This race is a bunch of convicts that just escaped <laughs> from from the Bastille. That's why it starts on the 14th and ends on the 20th. It's a tribute. It's a it's an escape of French revolutionaries and their harrowing bike ride out of France at the turn of the 17th century. Exactly. Really. 18th century. Sorry. Well, the turn of uh, yes, yeah, that's the one. Really, right. really interesting stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, do you want to know about any of the stages? Cause, oh, I uh, want to know who I, won. Well, so let's see. Who won the overall thingy Medea? 2014, I'm going to guess... What's her name? I should know this. Starts with an Evelyn. Oh, really? Yeah. Not the world champion? Who was it? Yeah, sure, you misogynistic uh, rat bag that doesn't follow the... 2014 International Thuringen Rundefart de Frauen Women's mm -hmm. Cycling. Uh, so no, the uh, winner was actually the American Evelyn Stevens, coming oh, home with cool. the yellow. Uh, the points was Lizzie Armistead. Yeah, Lizzie's really good. Yeah, she also won the mountains. So so she had the white and black jerseys. I think uh, they weaved them together into a, some sort of new zebra jersey. 
Uh, we got Anna Plitschta was the young oh, rider. Oh, no, Anna Vandebregen. Was Vandebregen there? Vandebregen. I don't see no Vandebregen. Anna, A-N-N, Von, the what? Yeah, Anna, Vendeb- Anna Vandebregen, yeah. I don't know. My guess is that she must have uh, been sore or was like, you know what? I'm not doing this whole jazz. She's Dutch. She's very good. I guess she was only, no, she was 20-something. She should have been uh, crushing it. Yeah, no, she she was not here. I don't see her. Sorry, man. Maybe she said uh, she had a thing against the Germans or just 2014 was too powerful for her. No, oh, 20, 2014 was probably was a, was a year before she made it big because she won um, uh, Amelou Pet News Blot in, in February of 2015. Oh, of course. Yeah, obviously everyone knows the beginning of this, the World Biking Championship season. Uh, um, het, uh, pet news blog. See, the thing is, on this race here, this is yeah. wild. So, our girl, Lisa Brenauer, the German, oh, yeah. she's coming out. She's she's wearing the yellow for the first three stages. So, she's on the top of the world. And then she gets overtaken by that dirty American, Evelyn Stevens. So, it's it's really sad to say, sad to see, because she was the best German rider. And, you know, she took home that that German jersey, but that was it. Man, total bummer. How many days was it? Uh, seven? Five? Six day. Six, Six day days? with one uh, prologue. Nice. Wow, what an exciting and amazing bicycle race that apparently stopped happening or something. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Not me. No, it, uh, it's still going, probably. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, obviously, they got to keep celebrating the, the prison escape at uh, the Bastille, you know? All right, wait, no. I just I just clicked on a link. That brought me to 2021, the Thuringen Ladies Tour, and it wasn't even yeah. on the Steel Day. What? Wow. I can't believe how far they've strayed from tradition. Ridiculous. I know. This, uh, you know. I mean, I know coronavirus has messed up everything, but. But these freaking Germans just, they don't, they don't do it like they used to, man. Alex, where, what's the next thing that we uh, are doing? Oh, putting someone in the hot seat. Is there anyone we can put into the hot seat this weekend? Let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to go out to my window and start uh, seeing if I can see anyone. Hello? Hello, anyone out there and uh, has some great deals on chrome-plated tracks? Oh, my God, he's coming. He's running. Oh, my God, that, that thing is a monster. It's driving up. Well, what do we have here? I say, I got some good news for you, boys. That's right. We're pimping and we're tractoring. Now, yeehaw, mother. Oh, wow. Who is this? Well, I think this is uh, Chromium Cassius the Eighth. Oh, that's darn dear right. Uh, because they my sure grand- go through them fast, don't they? That's right, How's my grand- Chromium. Yeah, I'm doing great, but my grandpappy uh, died. Uh, uh, he he uh, inhaled too much chrome, and then uh, him, my daddy also had too much chrome, and now I'm out here. And for some reason, they uh, say the the Cassiuses have a. Uh, interesting rare disease where the chrome is uh plated to their bones so it grows eight times as quick our life expectancy is only like roughly four years but uh we're fully grown by the age of uh, two weeks so it's pretty interesting oh that is fantastic i didn't know that you had the same rare bone chromium coating disease as wolverine and guston well, no, that, that, see, that, that, I, I've dabbled in the Gouston area. Oh, my God. I went to France, uh, two weeks ago. That was a grand old time. I was out there peddling my brand new P, P, PMT Super Spreader 18 million thousand. So we were out there All right, having well, a good time. All right, well, Chromium, I'm going to need you to take the seat off your tractor and plop oh, that yep. cushy right down on the exhaust because you're in the hot seat, buckaroo. Oh, oh, baby, my, my booty's burning like a Aunt Jemima supporter in the middle of the Cold War. All right, are you ready to face a laser stream of questions, the likes of which you have never seen before, and the Dewey Brothers will get a patent on? It's patent pending. You're right, That we do have a patent on it. Well, I don't know. I suppose we can. I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. All right, here we go. Yep. Chocolate or vanilla? Oh, uh, I'm a vanilla boy. You can tell from uh, the color of my skin. Yep. Oh, all right, all right. Best shade of green. Oh, I, I'd have to go with a deep, dark, uh, uh, what's that kind of grass? Uh, nut grass. Deep, dark, nut grass kind of green. Oh, all right. Chromium or chromate? 
oh, you see, well, the trick is, um, uh, it, it's chromium. We like the natural stuff. None of those extra four uh, oxygen particles up in there. Huge April showers or May flowers? Oh, well, you know what they say. The uh, the rain makes the corn, and the corn makes the whiskey, and the whiskey keeps us in business. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so April showers. Best laptop, Mr. Chromium. Well, it's actually the new PMT, uh, super designed, slick fit, super chrome, uh, lapper. That one, it's it's great. It's got all your all your laptop needs. Those run on MX Linux, don't they? Most expensive paint color. Ooh, well, <laughs> you're talking to the man himself. It is, strangely enough, not chrome. It is a uh poop brown. Just I, I don't know why it's so expensive. I think the way that they make it. It's some some sort of crazy stuff. All right, this one's tricky. You ready? Lava, yeah. cookie, or monster? Oh, oh, why? You are bringing the Satan's name into this good here podcast. My grandpappy and his grandpappy before him always used to come on this podcast and talk about what they do and how they do them good old tractors the best. But you are asking me about my lava, my cookie, and my my monster all three together but with slightly different separation. Now that is not – I I quit. I quit. You know what? I don't need this, but uh, definitely the monster. That's for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, good choice. Um, wh- two more questions. Gerbs or jobs? Well, I know one is what they're taking, and that's my gerb. So, my gosh darn gerbs are getting taken. So, gerb. Oh, oh, great, great response, Mr. Cassius. Now, given the overwhelming evidence uh, of chromium-caused climate change, how will the PMT crew make sure that they're doing their part in keeping our planet clean and safe? Well, over at Peep My Tractor, it has been a long tradition of uh, actual taking climate change very serious. Because we know that when the climate changes, just like old Billy up in the, the, the hills, when his, uh, his cow gets old, she, she doesn't produce as well. So we are all about production. That's right. Call me Mr. J.P. Morgan. I think he's the financial guy. Or is that... um. Uh, Just call me John Rockefeller because I am a tycoon whiz. I understand that the future is what's important because how I I don't want to make money now if I can't make money in the future. That's why we are we we got Jimbo out back and he's working on a new special sauce. He's whipping up all the good ingredients in the kitchen so that our chromium can have zero emissions by 2026. That's right. Wow, that is a tight production goal. Well, I'm glad that Pimp My Tractor has such a hard commitment to one of the most challenging epidemics facing our world today, which is obviously 4C, chromium-caused climate change. However, that's only climate change. We're also trying to push chromium into every facet of life. That way, it can't go bad because everyone knows chrome don't go bad. So we're trying to get babies coated in them, trying to get our beans coated in them, trying to get our nut grass coated in it. Uh, really, we just want everything to be chrome because chrome can't go bad. Ain't that right? Oh, everybody knows chrome don't dome. So that they're right there, boy. Once you go chrome, you don't go home. Oh, oh, gosh, my my bones are starting to hurt a little. <laughs> Good thing I got Chromium Cassius the Ninth out here. Chromium Cassius the Ninth. Why, why don't you help your old Chromium Cassius the Eighth uh, off his off his hot seat? I gotta I gotta go get some of that Jimbo special sauce. Wow, Alex, I uh I I don't I I sure hope Chromium Cassius the Eighth is doing all right. I hope he's all right. He didn't sound good. Well, that was uh, I think that wraps up the hot seat, Eric. Yeah, he's gone. He's he's just gone. So. Oh yeah, he's he, he rode in on the wind, rode out on the wind. In this case, the wind is what he named his fifty-seven ton <laughs> pimp my tractor, fifty-seven thousand RX four by four by four by four tractor. So <laughs> by eight I by mean, eight. Four. Also, I didn't eight there. I think I saw that on the side. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> absolute beaut of a machine so uh make sure to oh, go to your Andrew local you pull anything your local pin my tractor uh store after this and uh really just I, I think they have a whole bunch of really cool new inventory you gotta check out oh yeah it comes with an under the it comes standard eric with a deck mounted combine harvester 
Yeah, no, that um, that adds up. So, uh, yeah. do you have do you have a question out there? Uh, I don't have any questions. I thought you uh you had the questions. Uh, did oh, someone yeah. say I... something on our previous podcast? Yeah, there's. I'm looking in the commentation station. All right. Well, not... before you before you read the question out, I just wanted to remind all of our listeners: if you're listening on Spotify, once you're mm. done listening on Spotify, fire up the YouTube video, watch that one three or four times. It's good for the ratings. And then go down and ask us some silly questions, because otherwise, how are you going to get your questions answered by the one and only Dewey Brothers? We we know that <laughs> we know that you have questions, and we have responses they're not answers we have responses and that's all you can oh about. yeah no we're legally not allowed to call them solutions unless we're mixing more than one answer together that's true uh which in case they're very much heterogeneous solutions and uh we stay we stay away from the homogeneous if you know what i mean god damn it <laughs> um so alex <laughs> yeah. i got a question here it says ollie the owl asks how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? Okay, so I actually did this once back in middle school. And I, I did remember. this once, I mean, I did this five times back in middle school in order to get multiple accurate data samples. Okay. Do you remember what the uh, standard deviation of those were? Uh, it was somewhere, so my lowest ones were 200, and oh, my wow. highest were 250. It was surprisingly consistent. I think the standard deviation was probably put it in the middle 30 30 licks that's uh either side of 225 licks to the center of a tootsie pop i guess that's that's not bad i'm just a little worried that the uh i don't know i mean i'm out here i don't want my tongue to go sore from licking i i want to know a precise measure well so a big problem with with tootsie pop measuring actually that middle school alex encountered while he was solving the game of tic-tac-toe because he had no friends was that it depends on your licking technique if you are just stroking the lollipop with your tongue outside of your mouth yes. then you you know about 200 licks if you take the whole lollipop and stick it inside the toasty pop goes inside your mouth and you both suck and lick at the same time then you can drastically reduce the time until you get to the nougaty center that is true by well, at least Alex, 50 to 75 licks. Did you also find that the uh, the nougaty center was not always the same thickness? Like, uh, or, or is it very streamlined? Because I remember looking at Tootsie Pop and like the, the center is kind of swirly. It's not a perfect sphere, you know? Well, so the first, so the, the definition of the center of the Tootsie Pop is the first lick that breaks the hard candy coating and exposes air and or Tootsie. Okay, okay, that makes sense. And you know, because the hard outer coating actually is resistant to the, the Tootsie. There's a whole, I, I have reams and reams of 10-year-old Alex Tootsie Roll papers that I can, I'll, I'll just put them in the, in the comments. Yeah, I, I mean, I do believe, I remember uh, hearing that's what your focus of, that's what your doctoral thesis was going to be on. Well, like, that's what Harvard, my, yeah, Harvard that's... just couldn't hang with that level. They didn't want to be associated with a, such a profound researcher. They, they thought, you know what, it's, we should pass. Well, in order to graduate into middle good. school, everyone at Fleming had to write a thesis and mine was on lollipops. What was yours on Eric? Um, I believe mine was actually on uh, Chrome and the effects that it has on my poor friends over at Pimp My Track. <laughs> Yeah, it's real, real dangerous stuff. I'm glad that someone, some mid, young middle school researchers were really blowing the whistles on that one. The chrome plated shiny whistles, if you will. Uh, I believe there's one more question on this podcast and we kind of want to keep this thing um, moving. So Yeah, yeah, you're right. So this is, uh, let's see. Hey, Dewey bros. It's Steve here. I can't believe oh, no. what my neighbor Seth did last week. Oh, not this again. I went out to get some milk and came back to a novel art installation about the puzzling mysteries of the mind in my living room. He really got me good. Let me tell you. What should, what are you going to tell us? Um what should I do? Seth's backyard climbing wall this week. What should I do to Seth's backyard climbing wall this week while he practices with his amateur synchronized swimming team? Wow. Thanks. Okay, whoa, Steve. we got to break this one down here. First oh my of goodness. all. Yeah, he really did get you good. I mean, Sorry. We don't know where that idea came from. You can't trace Sorry, it back Steve. in any yeah, way Seth, shape, um, to Dewey Brothers podcast at all. Seth is obviously a master prankster because he he really he was able to collage a 
art installation about the puzzling mysteries of the mind in your living room, made out of puzzles, of course. So, um, that's, oh yeah, that's I remember both sea life and jungle life in that art installation. So, I would believe that. Um, so ah, you know, you know, Steve, it's it's kind of rude for you to target this Seth's poor climbing wall. You know, like that that's a man's treasure. That's that's his temple of gains, you know. He's trying to slim down and get just complete pumps. That's the temple of pump. He wants his forearms to be huge. However, when I heard that he was out there practicing with his amateur synchronized swimming team, you're right. You know what, Seth? I mean, you know what, Steve? Go vandalize the crap out of that. Because every real crag goer knows there's no synchronization in the art of climbing. It's all about being unique. So the fact that he's out here uh, synchronizing his swims, what else does he synchronize, you know? Uh, I know for a fact, if he synchroni- if this man synchronizes his swims, he also synchronizes his climbing wall, which is why my buddy, who, Steve, Seth, which one is it? Uh, which one? So Steve's, oh, Steve's wall. asking about Seth. Yes, you're right. So this yeah, is Steve, Steve, was Steve the you got milk because we know you went out and picked up milk, right? Yep, yep. And you got to unsynchronize this man's wall. You can't vandalize it because we don't that, do vandalism don't do here well, on Just Do It, a Dewey we, Brothers prank podcast. Yeah, we only have fun, neat pranks, you know? So I think you take one of your five gallons of milk. You know, it's a lot of milk to drink, but I know you make it happen. And you let that one go rancid, and then you store it in the back of his climbing wall. So he's like, ew, what's that smell? P.U. Something must have crawled back in here and died. And then when he gets around to it, he sees a moldy green gallon of milk sitting there and has to has to clean it up. And a note that says, got him, possum. No, Alex, you're going about this all wrong. First, okay, Steve doesn't buy milk in five gallons. You missed that. You misread it. He buys it in 50-gallon drums. My boy Steve has 50 gallons of drums, 50 gallon drums of milk in. Well, he, he drinks a gallon of milk. His family goes through a gallon of milk a day. So it's been a week. He's down to 43 gallons. Just okay, well, he is a savvy, he is a savvy businessman, so he buys in bulk. But I was going to say, what he should do is, you know how all these synchronized swimmers are coming over, right? Well, he's going out to synchronize swimming practice, which leaves just a four to five hour window for our boy Steve to lay a good prank on. So I think he should preemptively do something to his synchronized swimming cap. I don't know. I think he fills up that cap with milk. So then when poor little Seth uh, puts it on, boom, he's got milk in the pool. And then everyone's going to laugh at him for having milk in the pool. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Also, I want you to take his starting holds and turn them upside down because that is always funny. All right, Eric, Ooh, you want to wrap this also, podcast up? Also, uh, I bet, I bet, uh, yes, we obviously need to. I bet Seth is the kind of guy who has multicolored holds. Turn them all pink. Just like go out and get a bunch of pink holds and put them on the wall. That's yeah. Trick. Buy buy exactly the same holds that he Seth has. And replace all of his pink. holds with pink holds so that he doesn't know what route he's doing anymore. And that, that is way, classic. And that way, every climb is actually the pink one in the corner. So he can't even brag to his friends that he got the pink one in the corner. Exactly. Diabolical. Brutal. Okay. Well, I, that's all the time we have for today. So let's thank our sponsors. Up first, this podcast would not be possible without the four C's. Chromium caused climate change. It's a major climate crisis catastrophe. Get out there and write your Congress people. Come on. It's true. For just five chromed pennies a day, you could save the environment around you. Please donate at cccccc for ccc, cc, adidas cc, at dot cc. That's closed caption, by the way. Let's see, Alex. I would have to thank the lovely and wonderful Homegrown Hops for sponsoring another podcast. Can't live without them. And that's it. Oh, Homegrown Hops. They're Conan, baby. They're coming for you. Watch out. This podcast would not be possible without a generous donation of milk. Get it in a 50-gallon drum. Exactly the amount of milk for one family for a week. 50-gallon drum of milk. And I also have to thank the lovely people over at Women's Cycling. Uh, They're sponsoring us, for sure. 
That's the one. Thank you, Women Cycling. This podcast has support this week from the most expensive paint color, brown. Ooh, brown specifically. Yep. I- I'm pretty sure the part of uh, it's hard to get the little pieces of corn in there accurately. <laughs> That's what makes it so expensive. <laughs> And as always, a big rosé. Bada bing, bada boom. Big and rosé. Make sure to try big rosé. All gr- Oops, all grits. That's, that's <laughs> the one that's all all dregs, baby. <laughs> Nothing better than the, the, the sweet, supple texture in your wine. Of and by big sweet rosés. and supple, it's it's not <laughs> sweet and it's definitely not supple. It's it it, it really you, you feel it going down, and that's what I love about big rosés. Oops, all drags. All right, this has been s- episode seven, season five. Yes, that's Just the do one. It, a Dewey Brothers podcast. I'm Alex. I'm Eric, and I'm Chromium Cast. Used to that the, the ninth now. I'm already 80 years old. <laughs> Help me, please. Uh, yeah. For the love of God, man. Don't help him, and just send it. There we go. <laughs> uh, Oof, what a pod! Wow, we did it, man. That was that was good stuff. That was exciting to say the least. Yeah, thanks, thanks for thanks for doing the big edit on this one, brother. I I appreciate it. I owe you dinner. Oh, lit.